I receive a lot of questions regarding the proteins. What are the proteins? How much protein should I eat? What are the best sources of proteins? Well, today I'm gonna cover everything. Let's talk about what are proteins. We have to think that there are three macronutrients. We have proteins, we have carbs, and we have fats. Each and one of them has a very important role in our body. The fats are very important for our hormones, hormone production. The carbs are the best source of energy for our body. And the proteins are the building muscles. So all three of them have important roles. Besides building muscle, the proteins have also roles in skin, good skin, hair, nails, organs, and so on. For today, we're gonna to focus on building muscle. This is what is important for us. When we want to build muscle or preserve our muscle mass, we need to make sure that we eat enough amount of proteins. When we eat proteins, they will break down into peptides, depeptides, and then in the bloodstream, they will end up as amino acids. When we train, we break down our muscle fiber and these amino acids will go and repair the muscle fiber and build it bigger and stronger. If we don't have enough protein in our diet, there are not enough amino acids to make this process so we cannot build enough muscle and we cannot preserve the muscle that we have already. In our body there is a constant amino acid breakdown. So what does this mean? It means that the muscle fiber that we have right now on our body, it will not be the exact same muscle fiber a few years from now. That means that the old muscle fiber will be broken down and the new amino acids will create a new muscle fiber. That's why if we spend a lot of time without eating protein we will start losing our muscle mass. And of course, if we are in a big caloric deficit, your body will use the amino acids as a source of energy instead of muscle building or muscle preservation. Okay, so now we know a few things about the proteins. We know what they are all about. Let's see protein sources. Where can we get these proteins from? So, easiest way, meat. The best way to get the enough protein to your diet is chicken, beef, fish, turkey. Every meat has protein, so you can choose depending on the fat percentage which one is better for you. Me personally, I prefer to mix things up. I have everyday chicken, I have everyday beef, fish from time to time. You can choose whichever you want. What I have to mention here is pay attention to the red meat. Don't exaggerate with it. If you eat every day for a long period of time in very, very high quantity, you can uh, develop the gout. The gout is the inflammation of the wrist and the ankle, so that's no bueno. Besides the meat, we have eggs, which are great sources of protein. We have yogurt. I love the skier. Skier is a form of cheese that's very low in fat, actually has zero fat percentage. If you find it hard to get all your protein necessary for the day just from the food, you can also help yourself by using supplements. Either a whey protein or a vegan protein, you can use them and supplement your diet. That's why they are called supplements, to supplement your diet and reach that level of protein that you need. There are quite a few misconceptions about the proteins as a supplement. People have this uh, doubt about them. Well, if you think about it and if you read the label, what you have there is a source of milk. When you're making the cheese, if you know the process of making a cheese, you remain with the hard part, which is the cheese, and then you have like a white water. That white water is actually a whey. And in that whey, you still have protein. So what the protein manufacturers are doing are not wasting all that whey. They are drying it out and they are making it as a form of protein powder. That's it, it's just a part of the milk. And on the other side, the vegan protein usually is made of rice and pea protein, so they make a full profile of amino acids. So now we know what are the proteins, we know some protein sources, now we need to know how much do we need. As a rule of thumb, what I suggest, if your goal is to build muscle or to preserve your muscle mass, you have to make sure that you're getting two grams of protein per kilogram. In my case, I weigh around 85 kilograms times two, that means 170 grams of protein per day. I tend to go a little bit over that, so I'm about 190. I just want to make sure that I can build muscle and I'm, I get enough protein. They also have a huge role in satiety. So if you feel hungry all the time throughout the day, you might not have enough protein to your diet. Our body takes a little bit of time to break down the proteins. That's why you will feel full for a longer period of time. So we know three major things now. What are the proteins, protein sources, and how much protein should we eat? And now the next question, when should we eat all this protein? Well, in my opinion, throughout the entire day. If you're not intermittent fasting, start from the morning, have a proper breakfast, make sure you have protein in there, and spread the protein throughout the entire day. If you need, like me, around 190, 200 grams of protein per day, I cannot eat all that protein in two meals or three meals. So I need to spread throughout the day my first meal is at 5.30 in the morning, the last one it's at 9. I have around 30 grams of protein for each meal, so 6 times 3, 
it's 180. The proteins are very important to be there in our diet. You cannot go to the gym, lift weights and expect to build muscle if your nutrition is not on point and you don't have enough protein into your diet. If your goal is to build muscle, you have to make sure that you have enough protein, enough carbs and also enough fat into your diet. Do not neglect them because it's quite easy to get sources of carbs, quite easy to get sources of fat. The proteins are the hardest one to get. One big advice that I will give you is make sure that your snacks are rich in proteins. When I have clients and they're telling me that I have a snack, what's the snack? It's banana or croissant or other things. Those are just carbs. So we need proteins in there. Make sure that you have a skier or a Greek yogurt or a protein shake, a protein bar, something that has protein. It's much easier to end up to those two grams of protein per kilogram at the end of the day. So as you can see, it's not that complicated. Proteins are quite simple. We know what are the proteins now. We know sources of proteins how much protein should we eat and when should we eat them. So now you have the basics, all you need to do is put it into your practice. The next macronutrient that I will cover up are gonna be the carbs and after that the fats. So make sure you like and subscribe this video so you don't miss the next ones. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will be happy to answer. Until next time, thanks again for watching. Ciao.